Hey everyone, this is Masin from BS Audio Tools, and today we're going to explore BS Spectral Dynamics. A few weeks ago, I released BS Spectin, which is also a Spectral Dynamics processor, and it's basically the small brother of today's plugin, BS Spectral Dynamics. Spectral Dynamics builds on that same idea, but has a slightly different workflow and some powerful new features. Both devices have their strengths, so I always recommend trying out the free demos on my Gumroad to see which one fits your workflow best. And while you're here, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future devices and updates. At the center of the device, you'll see a breakpoint editor. This can be switched between controlling the threshold curve and the ratio curve. Below that is the spectrum visualizer, which is useful for quick orientation, but remember, your ears should always be the final judge. A typical starting point is to set the threshold so it roughly follows the spectrum or to target a specific frequency range you want to control. For the example sound, which is this Reese bass here, we're going to set the threshold curve to roughly match the spectrum of the sound. Switching over to the ratio tab lets us see how strongly each frequency band is processed. Want to compress some bands harder and leave others more open? This is where you do it. Quick tip, if you want all bands to share the same ratio, simply shift click to remove the second breakpoint. Now the one remaining point controls the ratio across all bands. On the right side, there is a ratio scale, shout out to Nosphere for suggesting this. But while numbers are cool, especially with the ratio, it often works best to just dial it in by ear until it feels right. And if things get messy with either of the curves, there's always the clear button to instantly reset the curve. Apart from the more flexible breakpoint function, what really sets BS Spectral Dynamics apart from its smaller brother, BS Spectin, are the four processing nodes. You can select them with the two toggles, Comp and Expand, as well as Down and Up. Here is an easy way to think about it. Up turns things up, Down will turn things down. Comp reduces the difference between loud and quiet frequencies, and Expand increases this difference. When you combine these, you get four unique behaviors. Down and Expand are basically the gate mode found in BS Spectin, which reduces quieter parts below the threshold. This is great for denoising or cleaning up some mud. Here is an example for the denoising. And here's an example where we specifically target the low mids to remove some mud. The down and comp combination are the comp mode in BS Spectin, reducing louder signals above the threshold, which is useful for taming harshness or fattening up a sound. This is how it sounds when we try to fatten up a sound with a comp down mode. By just using a notch, we can also target specific frequency areas. Next, the up and comp combination will bring up quieter details by turning up everything that is below the threshold. Last but not least, the up and expand combination will boost everything that is above the threshold, resulting in an anti-soothe effect to bring out tonalities and character. Be careful with the last one though, it can push your signal past reasonable levels with high ratios and low threshold. The device includes a transparent safety limiter, but for the best results, I recommend dialing it in gently. You'll also find familiar parameters like attack and release. For classical spectral gating or compression, leaving them at zero often works fine. But if you need more control, you can always tweak them, for example, to gate the tails of a drum while leaving the transients intact. After the processing, there's a built-in analog style distortion. This is perfect for fattening up a sound that might have lost body after heavy gating or compression. There's also a mix knob letting you blend in just the right amount of spectral processing and an input level control, which makes it easy to adjust how hot the signal hits the threshold without moving the curve itself. On the top right corner, we can open the settings panel where we'll find the FFT size and overlap factor. These are important parameters to set the processing quality of BS Spectral Dynamics. 
The FFT size affects both time and frequency resolution. Larger FFT sizes will provide finer frequency detail, but smear transients and add more latency. While smaller FFT sizes result in a tighter transient response, but less frequency precision. As a rule of thumb, lower values for percussive sounds and higher values for textures and pads. <laughs> The overlap factor improves transient responses when using high FFT settings, but keep in mind that it also multiplies CPU usage. If you've got a producer friend who geeks out over these kind of spectral processing, share this video with them. They will love it. So that's already it. Be a Spectral Dynamics, a versatile and powerful spectral processor with more depth and flexibility than its sibling BS Spectin. Don't forget, you can download the free demo on my Gumroad and try it out for yourself. Let me know in the comments how you're going to use BS Spectral Dynamics in your workflow. I always enjoy reading your ideas. And of course, subscribe if you don't want to miss out on any upcoming devices and walkthroughs. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.